you're wondering why we rafted here in Chesapeake City, you have to go watch our last video. A little bit of a, of a mess, but thank you to Bill and Margie for offering to raft up, otherwise we'd have to do something probably not fun. Um, and it was just nice getting to meet y'all, so thank you. Today we are chilling. We are gonna explore Chesapeake City, prepare for our Delaware Bay journey manana. And uh, they have a nice museum here. It's a beautiful walk walkable downtown. Uh, we're gonna take you guys along for the ride. We're Jen, Elliot, and Ollie. In 2019, we booked a one-way flight to Colombia, and after traveling to 11 countries, we were locked down in India for five months. Coming back to the U.S., we decided to pivot into boat life and cruise on a 6,000-mile journey called America's Great Loop. Make sure to subscribe as we share the highs, lows, and everything in between. CND Canal Museum and it is a free museum here in Chesapeake City and we're gonna check it out so we can learn a little bit of history here about the CND Canal. The canal is turning 193 years old this year, the original canal. It started out as 36 feet wide and is now 450 feet wide. It can hold a lot of vessels and very large vessels, making it one of the busiest shipping canals in the entire world. And they said because this canal exists, it saves 300, a 300 mile trip, which is around Cape Charles, which is the Chesapeake and Delaware Bay. Um, that's like the southern side. And because of that savings, it's over 400 million gallons of fuel every year being saved by having this canal, which is just, it's amazing. Oh my gosh, the boat's raising up. This is epic. Oh my God. Okay, worth it. Part of transiting the CND Canal back in the day was very similar to like an air, they had a, a control station, kind of like an air traffic control station you would have in a, at airports, uh, which is kind of neat. I don't think that we've seen that yet on the loop. I don't know how normal that is, but it's pretty cool. With all the traffic that it gets here, it makes sense, you know, if two giant barges are coming, you know, that's uh, probably a no bueno. The original canal had four locks, but now the two bodies of water, the Chesapeake Bay and the Delaware River are now connected and there's no locks between them and they're all on the same height. This is a steam engine and a couple fun facts. One, it only broke down once in 76 years pretty reliable, it's pretty awesome. The other thing is that this huge apparatus has 175 horsepower. So, for comparison, Linda has 135 horsepower in Pivot. And is... You know, a maybe fraction of the size. <laughs> yeah, like, it's just crazy how, uh, how much like science and engineering has changed over time. You were not there. That's a fantastic museum and the price was right. Free to get in, self-guided, 
but just so much interesting um, facts about the waterway that we are about to transit, which is just really cool. We're gonna head back to Pivot, maybe get some lunch, and I'm gonna be working on the autopilot. Never had a working autopilot on Pivot since we bought the boat, but I just ordered like a replacement LCD screen, so let's see if it works. It is hopefully finally time to have a working autopilot on Pivot. I ordered a uh, replacement LCD screen. Our autopilot is Raytheon ST5000 Plus, which is an older autopilot, but very common. The screen just doesn't light up anymore. You can't see anything. So it's just unknown if it's working or not. So the fix, you could buy a whole nother head unit. It's like $500, or you can buy just the LCD re replacement. That's what I got. So it's like 100 bucks, 150, and this is what it looks like. When you order this thing, it comes with a man set of manuals from the guy that sells it on eBay, with like step-by-step -step instructions. It seems pretty straightforward, but we're gonna see. We're gonna check it out, and then we're gonna test it. If everything goes well installing it, we're gonna test it tomorrow, as we cruise Sandy Canal and then. Uh, to the Delaware Bay, so. I gotta get the rest of the supplies. actually work but it's a good start I and mean, then you can tell that's how it should look but this thing is already kind of broken to like these screws are like totally jacked they should be like connected to that almost all those screws are stripped so I feel like repair might have been attempted in the past it's not looking wrong Project successful. We still don't know if the autopilot's actually working because we're not gonna go for a cruise today, uh, but we are leaving tomorrow, so we'll test it tomorrow. I mean, I don't know, we've never had an autopilot before. We traveled for a year without one, and uh, I guess we almost a year and a half. Um, so, let's see how it functions. Probably need more work to do on it, but uh, we'll find out tomorrow. Project success. Don't mind me. Elliot. Oh. While Elliot has been working on our autopilot all afternoon, I have been editing a video, which has been awesome because it's just been a beautiful day, taking it in. And I cooked us an early dinner because we have a super early start tomorrow. So tonight we have bimyabob. Some sauteed onions, mushrooms, zucchini, carrots on a bed of rice with some marinated cucumbers and a fried egg for me. It's very good. 
This recipe comes from my sister-in-law, Chris. It's a Korean dish and it's known for its uh, spicy gochujang sauce, which is like a spicy pepper sauce that's drizzled on top. Chef Kiss, super delicious. It is so nice today. It's a Friday night uh, in Chesapeake City. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven boats in the anchorage. There was almost double last night. I think there was over 10. Um, it's just gorgeous. Water is so calm. This is what we are like hoping that uh, tomorrow is. The forecast says it is, but we hope that it stays true um, for our Delaware Bay. It's going to be one of our longest travel days in a very long time. There is uh, this anchorage which you can be at for 72 hours, so they actually do limit it. And then there is a free town dock that you can stay at for 24 hours, but it's full. And we had already lowered the dinghy from yesterday, so that's why we're anchored. Chesapeake City is such a cute little town. We learned that it is on the National Register of Historic Places and you can really tell that walking through the streets that this town has been here for a very long time and it is just beautiful. We've really enjoyed walking around tonight. It's a really cool summer evening. There's live music playing. It's a Friday night. Unfortunately, we are not staying out because we have a very early wake up call tomorrow morning. But this city, it's just, it's so cute and the buildings are all very colorful and there's tons of flowers. I think if I walk away from Chesapeake City, the one thing that I'm gonna take away is how many flowers we saw. Just on every porch, on every um, front way, there are tons and tons of flowers. Thank you so much for watching our video. Tomorrow we have a very early wake up call. We are departing Chesapeake City at 3 a.m. Hoping to do all the CND Canal and Delaware Bay, so. so. Stay tuned for that. Make sure you're subscribed, and if you guys enjoyed this one, give it a like. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay. Signal Canal had four locks. The original canal head. <laughs> what, how do you do it? And then he was like. <laughs> okay. Is the Raytheon ST Tippy. <laughs> yeah, the screen just doesn't light up anymore and you can't see anything. So you don't know if it's running. Okay, can you? <sighs> and this. Ollie, are you doing a good job supervising? <laughs> Kisses. <laughs>